Hi everybody, I've been getting your emails asking me about surf fishing. It's almost springtime and a lot of you are planning to go surf fishing. I know it's a great way to take the family out, very inexpensive, just use your freshwater gear. You can go out there and catch Corbina, uh, surf perch, sometimes get lucky, get a nice halibut. In some parts of the state, you can even get stripers right along the coast. But you've been asking me rods, reels, hooks, sinkers, all those kind of questions. Well, today I want to tackle the hook question. Now there's a couple of different models of hooks. A bait holder hook in bronze always works really well. Lots of companies make them. One of the ones I use is made by Mustad. But another hook by Mustad that's brand new that I like is this one. It's a brand new, uh, it's a beak hook that's been around for a while, but I call it brand new because it's got a brand new finish, a black nickel finish too. And this hook model is a 92158. It's a BN, standing for the black nickel. And what's really cool about it, it's a nice open hook. And you can see it right here in my fingers, my hand. And it's got a barb on it. So with that barb, what it does, it's gonna hold on to your grub, it's gonna hold on to your gulp worm, anything like that. So if a fish bites, it's not gonna just suck it off the hook and you're gonna lose your bait. That barb right there is, makes a big difference. You, when you're thinking about surf fishing, you really need a hook that's got a barb. And that's why I like the bait holder hooks and I also like these beak hooks too. They both work out really good. Uh, I actually like the beak hook a little bit better than, barb than the bait holder just because it's got a wider gap and I think it's going to work better for the surf perch. So pick up some of these, try it when you go fishing. Another tip is make sure when you're surf fishing, you're not casting beyond where the waves are breaking. I see you guys sometimes when I'm out there surf fishing and you got a 12 foot rod, 15 foot rod, trying to cast as far as you can. But the, all out there, when you get out that far away from the waves, all you're going to catch are the bat rays and sand sharks. The fish that we're talking about catching on these hooks is going to be the surf perch, the corbina, even halibut, be right up on the surf. And those corbina and the surf perch will be traveling with their heads down, looking at every wave that comes through there, all that commotion. They're down there with their heads down, looking for baits to get kicked out from the sand for them to eat. If you go way out there and cast way too far, like I said, just a lot of bat rays and sand sharks there. And surf fishing is something you can do all the time, year round. These fish don't migrate long distances. A fish you might catch off Newport or Huntington Beach or Long Beach isn't gonna go all the way up to San Francisco. They stay close in an area. They know if they get too far off the beach, too many things can eat them, like seals and sharks. So they're gonna be right up there close to the surf. Sometimes when I'm out there um, surf fishing, I'll actually feel the fish rub against my legs. So again, thinking about a hook, you're not sure what hook to get, try this beak hook by Mustad. It's a really good hook, 92158. It's got that little barb on that hook and try the new finish. I think you'll be successful with it. Well, that's today's video blog. For more information, subscribe right here and I'll talk to you again real soon.